Hey guys and welcome back to another video. This is All India Football and here we are with our Indian Team of the Year for the year 2020. So without wasting any more time, let's get on to the video. Let's begin with the goalkeeping department. So it was a tough choice for the goalkeeping position but we have gone with Arindam Bhattacharya in goal. This is 9 clean sheets and an average of 1.1 clearance per game. He is the man with the gloves. Now let's shift our attention to the defensive unit. In the defensive unit, we have got Pritham Kotal and Chinglin Sena as our centre-back pairing and Prabhu Das and Jason Kartnero as our side-backs. Pritham Kotal, as you all know, is a solid player. He had got the highest interceptions with Lucien Goyen last year in the ISL. That's of 44 interceptions, 71 tackles and 79 clearances which made him a man mountain in the defence last season. So it's pretty obvious why he makes into the list. Talking about the other centre back, yes, Chinglin Sena. Chinglin Sena had an outstanding 2020, especially to the latest stages of it, as he has been rock solid for Hyderabad FC in ISL Season 7, and that earned him a spot into the squad. Talking about Prabir Das, Prabir Das had got 5 assists last season and averaged at 0.9 interceptions per game and 1.6 clearances per game. He was equally solid both offensively and defensively. The left flank is guarded by our very own Jessel Garniru with 5 versus and an average of 1.6 interceptions per game and 2 clearances per game. The Goan defender surely makes it into our squad. In midfield, we have gone for a 3 man midfield in which Raul Borges is our centre defensive midfielder, Anirudh Thapa is our centre midfielder and Brandon Fernandez is our centre attacking midfielder. Talking about Raul and Borges, the tank, as truly said by the fans, was the heart of the midfield that season. Let's have a look at his stats. With an average of 2.3 interceptions per game, 1.3 clearances per game, 0.5 blocks per game and the highest number of tackles, he was phenomenal in the defensive department and offensively he had got 2 goals and 2 assists. And so he makes it through to our squad. Anirudh Thapa, the man with 1 goal and 5 assists. He was truly remarkable for Chennai NFC last season and was a key element in their comeback last year. His performance earns him a spot in the squad. And Brandon Fernandez, the centre attacking mid in our squad. The Goan had a brilliant performance with 2 goals and 5 assists. Not only that, he had an 81% passing accuracy and an average of 2.5 key passes per game. The man with the Goan player continues to impress every one of us. In the forward department, we have got Lalian Suala Changte and Jackie Chan Singh as our wingers and Sunil Chetri as our striker. Lalian Suala Changte, the man known for his fearless pace, which can beat any defence, was on fire last season. With his 7 goals, which is the second highest among Indians last season, he had a remarkable performance and that earns him a spot in our squad. The in charge of the right wing is Jackie Chan Singh. He bagged in 5 goals and 3 assists last season and created 30 chances, which is the highest by any Indian last season in the Hero ISL. Leading the attack with the captain Sam Band is none other than captain, leader, legend. Yes, Sunil Chetri. The man who completed his 50th goal contribution in ISL last year is aging just like fine wine. He bagged in 9 goals and was a top scorer among Indians last season and it's sure why he makes it into the squad. So that completes our team of the year 2020. Now what changes do you want to see in the lineup? Comment below. Also if you are enjoying this video, give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit that bell icon so that you never miss a notification from the channel. That's it for this video. Bye.